Hello, I'm Kekla Magoon, reading from Revolution in Our Time. Early in the morning on May 2nd, 1967, a group of 30 Black people piled into cars in Oakland, California, and struck out on the highway, headed for the state capitol in Sacramento. They were going to protest a bill called the Mulford Act, a piece of gun control legislation which had been introduced specifically to prevent members of the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense from carrying the weapons they used to protect citizens from police brutality. The powerful image of Black men with guns on the steps of the California legislature put the Panthers on the map. For most of white America, that image defined the Black Panther Party. But Black Americans watching from around the country recognized the deeper promise of social transformation that the Panthers offered. The Black Panther Party for Self-Defense would not remain a small Oakland-based organization much longer. May 2nd, 1967 marked a significant turning point, the moment when the Black Panthers' posture of armed self-defense became a matter of national awareness. This new militancy rolled across the American landscape like an earthquake trembling the foundation of the Republic. On the surface, such an earthquake seems quite sudden. It catches people off guard. The ground begins to roll and it is all too easy to lose footing. Solid things, things designed to be immovable, tilt suddenly, casting all confidence askew. In moments of nervousness and fear, when the ground is shaking and it feels as if the world might come crashing down, Sometimes people forget that earthquakes are, in fact, not sudden. Nor do serious political movements arise in one fell swoop. Nothing happens overnight. The major turning points of history are seismic, born of eons of slightly shifting geologic plates. They do not emerge from nowhere. They are born of deep unrest. Thank you.